Yeah, me too. Thank you. Welcome to Secrets. Hey, thank you. Hey, Bienvenida a casa. Welcome home. Thank you so much. Señor, por favor, fresh towel. It's a pleasure. Well checked in, and we are getting the golf cart to our room. Our room was ready, even though we arrived hours before check-in, so that was really great. And now we are having lunch at the Seaside Grill, right next to the main pool. What'd you get? Wedge salad. Fish tacos. So what'd you get, Brett? Chicken flautas. And the shrimp pork boy. Just had lunch at Seaside and it was really, really great. Um, I think the highlight for me was the wedge salad and the um, shrimp po' boy. That was really good. And then we just came down to the beach and we're having a cocktail at the swing bar. And initial reactions are great. We're just hanging out at the main pool. There is some singers and they're awesome. They play Jimmy Buffett, they do classic rock, they do some new stuff. They're really, really great. So it's a nice change from the techno that we came from. So we're on the green over here, we're doing a little putt-putt. They have some competition here. Place number one, we have, with 21 hits, we have Brian. Second place, we have a tie between Kevin and Ron, 22 hits. We're off to have dinner at Oceana tonight. We were thinking about eating at Hamitsu tonight because they are rotating restaurants. So there's three restaurants open tonight and Hamitsu is one of my favorite. However, it might rain tomorrow and Oceana is like open air. So if it rains, then not so good to eat there. So we're gonna go there tonight. I love this. Thank you. That looks really good. I don't think so. Okay, come and enjoy it. Thank you. Beautiful. Bishop. Ah, Senor. We just got done with dinner at Oceana and it was really, really good. I always love Secrets Resorts dinners. I just feel like they're usually like 95% of the time really, really good. And this did not disappoint. I loved everything. Everything was so good. 
the appetizer that I had, tuna tartare, was like to die for. I had salmon that was really good. And then they had four desserts and I love dessert. And so uh, I asked the guy, I'm like, are they big or small or can we just get like little ones? So he gave us um, a combo. So we got to try a small piece of all four and we loved all but the chocolate. The chocolate wasn't bad. No, it was like no flavor. It was kind of just like standard like chocolate mousse, but I had cheesecake, creme brulee, and this really delicious banana wafer caramel thing that was like the standout for me. What do you think about dinner? It was good. Uh, I had the steak. I'm not a big seafood fan, as you know, if you follow this, um, but the steak was cooked excellent. Um, the service was great. Everything. The, and the views the were beautiful. You can't really see it right now because it's going down, but the, we'll try to link in some pictures and the view is just gorgeous. And we haven't really explored too much, so we are going to head to the lobby bar and see if there's any music or anything. We don't really know what's going on. We know there's karaoke tonight, which like isn't really our scene, um, but I don't think we're ready to go to bed yet because this is our first night here and they're calling for a storm tomorrow so and the next day so we're gonna try to get a bunch get a bunch in tonight so we'll see the bar is like a bird cage I love it having our second dinner at Hamitsu tonight and that is the Asian restaurant which is my absolute favorite and kind of why we're doing that is because due to COVID the restaurants are rotating and I'm not super hungry actually at all so I'm just gonna have some sushi but we want to make sure that we get this restaurant in and since we're only here three nights we're trying to make sure we get everything in that we want to do so we're having a late dinner it's after 10 p.m. and then 100% going to bed. First day here at Secrets Los Cabos is a wrap. We Ubered here from Breathless and it was about a 45 minute drive. When we got here, we were given hand sanitizer three times before we even made it to the check-in desk. So they are taking precautions so seriously. I have used more hand sanitizer this week between Breathless and now coming to Secrets, I think, than I have in my entire 34 years. Here, at Secrets, and they were doing it as, at Breathless as well, but it's very prominent at Secrets. You get hand sanitizer with every single drink. Doesn't matter if you're getting water, a cocktail, you walk into a restaurant and before you walk in, you get hand sanitizer at the door and then the server gives you hand sanitizer when you get to the table and then with your drinks. So it's like nonstop hand sanitizer. <laughs> So my hands, I need like some wonderful lotion or something because I'm about to be like cracked and bleeding. Moving on from the sanitizer. The food has been really great. Drinks are good. Service has been pretty good. You can tell that they're a little understaffed for what it might normally be. Unfortunately, there is a hurricane or a tropical storm or something coming in over the next two days and we're only here three nights. So fingers crossed that the next two videos are not us sitting in the room because it's raining because I definitely don't want that to be the case. Tomorrow, I think Kevin's gonna do a bike tour if the weather is good. I have to go meet with a sales manager and tour some rooms and then no idea what we're gonna do because we don't know what's going on with the weather. Anything to add, Kevin? That's it. We'll see you tomorrow.